One image Martin Beuys found in a book was very important for him in the last uh, three to four years and it was a picture of four concrete trees that the Mattel brothers, uh, their French architects from the 1920s, created for, an, uh, for the Exposition des Arts Décoratifs in Paris in 1925. And uh, Martin um, told us it's kind of a perfect collapse of nature and architecture. So he was interested in this idea of a tree, which is like growing and standing there, but in this modernist uh, um, material, which is concrete, which is a very absurd idea to make something natural out of concrete, but of course a very radical idea also to make this for a garden. And uh, from the time he found this tree, he, he started to work with it. So what he did is like he put the parts uh, apart and made like a, like a f floor uh, scheme out of it. Then he found, for example, letters in it. He found that he can make, in this report, he can find all the letters of the al alphabet he can find in this design. And he made new phrases, new sentences out of it. And um, he created um, kind of palm trees out of it. So this concrete tree is developing over time now in different uh, parts of sculptures. And uh, Martin Beuys is working with installation, but also with autonomous sculpture, as you also see in this installation. So he has the screen pieces and the chair pieces. He has the silk screen print. He has his trees out of, uh, made out of wood, especially for this space. And he puts it all together in a kind of airy landscape. And in the space, it's very nice because you have the light changing so much over time, and especially like in April when the show started, and now also in May. Um, you have a lot of light coming in and changing, so we covered some skylights and some are completely open. So the idea is also that the rain can come in and you feel the air when you're in the space, which you don't see on television, but of course uh, uh, it comes in, you always feel like, like wind a little bit, so you have a really like an open uh, space. And um, this idea of transparency or uh, lightness is also an idea always returning in the, in the work of uh, boys. So he made, for example, a small ventilation shafts, he put in galleries. Uh, so the idea that air comes in and out. And it's a very poetic idea also of, um, yeah, of states of being where you're not one or the other, where you're not black and white, but uh, different shades of gray, really. And uh, in the silk screens you have two sentences, and one says, uh, uh, out of this shadow into the sun. So again, you have something which is not sun, which is not shadow, but sometimes always, uh, some, somehow always the change between the two. And um, so that's the level or uh, something that always comes into this work. It's also the language, you know, how you speak about things, how you feel things, uh, how things can change from one place to the other. Um, so it's a lot of transitoriness and uh, lightness um, to his work too.